We can also try using the forward stepwise algorithm using both the AIC or BIC. And the nice thing is, is that we will again use the step function in R. What we are doing to begin though on line two is rather than doing the full model with all the possible covariates, since we're doing forward stepwise selection, we are going to start with a null model, and that just means that we only have an intercept. So that's why we're doing tilde 1 here. And the only difference is that we are doing direction forward, and we are starting with a reduced, and we are going to the full. So that's how this is working here. So when you run this in R, you'll get the exact same thing. And what's interesting is that the same best model that we chose using the backward selection with the AIC is exactly the same model that we selected using the forward selection. Now, this is not always going to be the case. And I want to stress that using one selection method over the other and one criteria over the other may end up with different models. And the only reason that's happening is based on some random procedural strategy or a selection of a statistic. When in reality, what I'd much prefer is that you are selecting a model that is parsimonious based on your theoretical understanding of the data generating process. But this is informative if you are trying to select from a subset of theoretically meaningful variables.